Hi boys and girls, it's Missy Andrea here at the Robertson County Public Library coming to you with story time for today. Today's a new day, a new month, and let's find out what it is. But first, let's sing good morning, or let's sing hi to each other, ready? It's story time at the library. We're ready to begin in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Clap together and turn around and count it once again backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. So today is a new day. It's a new month. It's called October. Can you guys see October? Okay, so let's put it up here in our calendar. Do you remember the song of the rest of the months of the year? Let's sing it together. Do you guys remember? Okay. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September. Look, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. So it is October, the year's 2020. And today, there are no numbers up here in my calendar. I guess that means it's the first day of this new month. So we're gonna put the number one in the pocket for today. And today's day of the week is Thursday. So Thursday is today. Let's sing our song. There's seven days, there's seven days, there's seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, it's the fifth day of the week. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, we say hooray for Thursday. Hooray! Thanks for joining me today on the first day of October, and it's the season of autumn or fall. Do you guys remember? It's autumn. We have winter, spring, summer, fall. Four seasons in all. And it's fall. So what's our weather? What's outside today? It's time to check the weather, the weather, the weather. It's the season of autumn, so what will it bring? Oh, is it sunny or cloudy? Is it foggy or windy? Is it raining or is it snowing? Is it hot, warm, or cold? So, the last time we were together was raining. Hmm, what's outside today in the window? Go look. I'll wait right here while you go check. Go look outside. So, what did you decide? What does it look like? It's sunny here at the library in Robertson County where we are, so we're gonna put our sun up. Our words that say sunny. It's a sunny day, and is it hot, warm, or cold? What's our temperature outside? You think it's, oh, yeah? Okay, well, how about it's warm? Is it warm? It's warm outside. I don't know what the actual temperature is right now, but if you think it's warm, so do I. Okay, so that's our weather. I have some fun things to talk to you about leaves, and I have a book that we're gonna read first, and then we're gonna do a little chant that goes with the book. It's called, We're Going on a Leaf Hunt. Have you heard this story before? It's written by Steve Metzger. It's illustrated by Miki Semakamoto. We're going on a leaf hunt. Let me come closer so you can see it. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. 
Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. We're coming to a mountain, a tall, tall mountain. We can't go under it. We have to go over it. We're coming to a mountain. Come on, let's go. Climb, climb, huff, puff. Whew. We made it. Pick up those leaves from the maple tree. The maple tree shaped leaves. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. We're coming to a forest, a dark, dark forest. We can't go over it. We have to go through it. We're coming to a forest. Come on, let's go. Step, step, squish, squash. Whew, we made it. Pick up those leaves from the birch tree. Their leaves look like that shape the birch tree. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. We're coming to a waterfall, a swooshing, swooshing waterfall. We can't go through it. We have to go around it. We're coming to a waterfall. Come on, let's go. Slip, slide, splish, splash. We made it. Pick up those leaves from the hickory tree. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. We're coming to a lake, a cold, cold lake. We can't go around it. We have to go across it. It. We're coming to a lake. Come on, let's go. Row, row, plip, plop. We made it. Pick up those leaves from the red oak tree. The red oak. Oh, what's that sound? It's, it, it's, it's coming from that bush. It's black, it's white, it's black and white. It's us, ah, skunk, let's go. Hurry, back across the lake, plip plop. Back across the waterfall, splish splash. Back across through the forest, squish squash. Back over the mountain, huff puff. We're home, we went on a leaf hunt. What a wonderful day. We found lots of colorful leaves. Now let's jump and play. So you guys wanna do that chant with me again? We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. Can you guys slap your legs like that? We're coming to a mountain. A tall, tall mountain. We can't go under it. We have to go over it. We're coming to a mountain. Come on, let's go. Climb, climb, climb. Puff, puff. We made it. We're going on a leaf hunt. It's a wonder. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. We're coming to a forest, a dark, dark forest. We can't go over it. We have to go through it. We're coming to a forest. Come on, let's go. Step, step. Squish, squash, good. 
We made it. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. We're coming to a waterfall, a swooshing, swooshing waterfall. We can't go through it. We have to go around it. We're coming to a waterfall. Come on, let's go. Slip, slide, whoo, splish, splash, whoo. Oh, we made it. We're going on a leaf hunt. We're going right away. Let's find colorful leaves. It's a wonderful day. We're coming to a lake. Ooh, a cold, cold lake. We can't go around it. We have to go across it. We're coming to a lake. Come on, let's go. Row, row, row. Clip, pop. We made it. Oh. What's that sound? Oh. It's coming from that bush. It's black. It's white, it's black and white. Ah, it's a skunk, come on, let's go. Back across the lake, row, 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 flip, flip, plop, row, 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 row. Back across the waterfall, slip, slide, splash, splash, splash. Ooh, back through the forest, step, 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 squish, 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 squash. Ooh, back across the mountain, climb, climb, climb. We're home. We went on a leaf hunt. What a wonderful day. We found lots of colorful leaves. Now let's jump and play. Good job, boys and girls. Did you like that? Was that fun? Did you see all the different colors of leaves in the story? Have you guys gone outside and looked at trees? If you haven't done that, go outside sometime really soon and look at the colors. They're changing. They're not staying green. They're turning all kinds of different colors. So that leads me to my next story. This is one of my most favorite stories for autumn. The Falling Leaves by Steve Metzger, the same person that just wrote the other book we just read, the same author, and it's illustrated by Jill Dupin. Let's find out about the leaves. The Falling Leaves by Steve Metzger, illustrated by Jill Dubin. It was an autumn and the leaves were ready to fall. I can't wait, said Red Oak. When the wind gusts, I'm going to let go and really put on a show. What are you going to do? asked Orange Maple. First, I'm going to fly up to the sky, twirl around 300 times, freeze for a moment, and then what? asked Purple Beach. Dive right into that patch of grass, said Red Oak, pointing to a nearby meadow. That will be great. What if the wind takes you somewhere else? asked Orange Maple. The wind? Ha, replied Red Oak. I'm stronger than she is. I'll fall to the ground just the way I want. You'll see. The blue jay stopped chirping and listened to the leaves. And the wind, she stopped blowing and listened to. She heard this talk before. In fact, she heard it every year. Purple Beach spoke up next. I'm going to wait for a gentle breeze, she said. Then I'll let go, glide across the meadow, and spin gracefully like a ballerina. And when I'm ready, I'll drift down to that cozy juniper bush over there. Now it was Orange Maple's turn. I have a better idea, he said. I'll wait for the moment when the wind is just right, not too rough. 
not too gentle. I'll do some loop-de-loops and then swoop up to that Rama's nest. I'll turn left, I'll turn right, then tumble over and over until I land in that blue lake. I, I think the lake might be cold, said a small voice. It was yellow hickory. Who's that? asked Orange Maple. It, it's me, replied yellow hickory. I, I, I just thought the lake might be cold on a cloudy day like today. So what? said Orange Maple. Maybe I like floating on a cold lake. And what are your plans, you skinny little thing? Asked Purple Beach. I'm going to just let go and relax, replied Yellow Hickory. The wind has always been nice to me. The wind smiled. You won't have any right at all, said Purple Beach. Yeah, said Red Oak. You'll fall straight to the ground. And then someone with big boots will step on you, said Orange Maple. As Red Oak, Orange Maple, Purple Beach laughed, Yellow Hickory quietly cried to herself. <laughs> now the wind wasn't smiling anymore. She was huffing, <gasps> puffing, mad. Oh, I think it's time, said Red Oak as he felt the wind begin to gust. The wind blew harder and harder. Here goes, said Red Oak, jumping off. But instead of doing what he planned, the wind spun Red Oak around once and dropped him straight into the mud puddle. Hey, no fair, he shouted. I want another turn. But each leaf got only one ride. That's the way it was. Now it was Purple Beach's turn. My trip down will be much better than that, she announced. The wind blew softly. Here's my gentle breeze, Purple Beach said. Let's go. Just as she let go, the wind's soft breeze turned rough, and she dropped Purple Beach straight into the mud puddle right next to Red Oak. Hey, shouted Purple Beach. It wasn't supposed to be like that. Now it was Orange Maple's turn. Let me show you how it's done, he said, letting go. And like the other leaves, however, the wind quickly spun Orange Maple around and dropped him straight into the same mud puddle. What's going on, he cried. That's not right. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't seem like they're very happy. Now it was Yellow Hickory's turn to go. Oh, she shook with fear. Oh, I, I don't want to go, she cried. I'm afraid. Don't worry, whispered the wind. I'll take good care of you. So gathering all her courage, Yellow Hickory jumped. She plunged downward, heading straight for the mud puddle. Watch out, shouted Red Oak. She's coming right this way. But before Yellow Hickory landed in the mud puddle, the wind gently lifted her up higher and higher. Wow, I'm flying, said Yellow Hickory as she glided through the clouds. The wind took Yellow Hickory on a wonderful ride over mountains, valleys, and rivers. I've never seen so much of the world, she said. It's so beautiful. After a long journey, the wind brought Yellow Hickory back to her forest and helped her do loop-de-loops, twirls, spins, glides, and dives.
All the other leaves could only watch. How come she gets to have all the fun? Whined Orange Maple. She's not that special, yelled Purple Beach. I want another turn, shouted Red Oak. It's not fair, they cried. <laughs> Yellow Hickory and the wind were having too much fun to care what the other leaves were saying. Are you ready to come down? asked the wind. Yes, she said. I'm getting a little tired. Where would you like to land? asked the wind. Over there, said Yellow Hickory, pointing to the blue lake. But I think it might be cold. The wind smiled. Let me take care of that, she said. With all her might, the wind took a mighty breath <gasps> and blew the clouds away. The sun shone on the chilly lake, warming it up. I think the lake will feel just fine now, said the wind. And the wind took Yellow Hickory and gently placed her on the blue lake. She liked the way the water tickled her back. Thank you so much, Yellow Hickory said to the wind. That was a wonderful ride. You're very welcome, said the wind. But now I must go. There are many more leaves getting ready to fall. Goodbye, wind, she said. Goodbye, my friend, said the wind as she flew off. And a family of ducks swam by and welcomed Yellow Hickory. We hope you like our lake, said Father Duck. I do, she said. We'll take good care of you, said Mother Duck. Yellow Hickory smiled, happy to be in her new home. The end. Okay, boys and girls, I have one more story selected today, and it has to do with our circle shape. Do you remember the Cindy circle that we talked about? Cindy circle goes around and around. From the sky to the ground she goes around. She is on the Ferris wheel. She's a beach ball for the seal. Cindy Circle goes around and around. Cindy Circle goes around and around. You will see her on the stoplight in the town. She can bend from end to end, roller skating with a friend. Cindy Circle goes around and around. This story has something to do with the shape of a circle. It's called Red, Red, Red by Valerie Gorbachev. One summer evening, Turtle was rushing through town. Where are you going in such a hurry, Turtle? asked Miss Raccoon. I'm off to see something red, 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 says Turtle without stopping. Something red, Mrs. Raccoon says. Is it my red roses? No, 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 says Turtle. It's not your red roses. Then what is it? Mrs. Raccoon, following Turtle right past Rabbit's grocery store. But Turtle didn't answer. Where are you going in such a hurry, friends? Asked Rabbit. Turtle is off to see something red, says Mrs. Raccoon. But he's in such a hurry, he has no time to tell me what it is. I'm going to see for myself. Maybe it's my red tomatoes, or my red cherries, or even my red watermelon, says Rabbit. No, 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 it's not your tomatoes, or cherries, or watermelon, Turtle says, hurrying on. But what is it then, says Rabbit, getting in line behind Mrs. Raccoon and Turtle and passing neighbor Goat, who was collecting his laundry. But Turtle doesn't answer. So Goat calls out, Where are you going in such a hurry, neighbors? 
We don't know, says Rabbit. Turtle was off to see something red, but he's in such a hurry he has no time to tell us what it is. Hmm. Can it be my red socks? asks Neighbor Goat. No, 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 says Turtle without missing a step. It's not your red socks. But what is it? begs Neighbor Goat as he falls in line behind Rabbit, Mrs. Raccoon, and Turtle just as they are passing Neighbor Fox's house where she is painting the roof. Turtle doesn't answer. Then Fox calls out, where are you going in such a hurry, neighbors? We don't know, says Goat. Turtle was off to see something red, but he's in such a hurry he has no time to tell us what it is. Maybe it's the red roof of my house, says Fox. I'm painting it red. No, 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 says Turtle. It's not your red roof. And then he hurries on. Then what is it, says Fox, as she falls in line behind Goat. Rabbit, Mrs. Raccoon, and Turtle. She is curious, too. They all pass the firehouse. What's going on here? cries a firefighter. Where are you all going in such a hurry? We don't know. We are all following Turtle, says Fox. He is off to see something red, and he is in such a hurry he has no time to tell us what it is. The firefighters grow alarmed, something red, and they fall in line behind the fox, behind the goat, behind the rabbit, Mrs. Raccoon, and Turtle, just as they all come to the lake and see Captain Dog in his ship next to the pier. Where are you going in such a hurry? Captain Dog cries from his ship. We don't know. Turtle was off to see something red, and he has no time to tell us what it is. It must be my ship, says Captain Dog. Its bottom is red and it has a red smokestack and red life preservers. No, 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 says Turtle. It's not your ship. And he carries on. Then what is it, the surprise Captain Dog says as he falls in line behind the firefighters, the fox, the goat, the rabbit, the raccoon, and the turtle? I would like to know. But Turtle doesn't answer him. They all climb up the hill to the lake. Here we are, says Turtle, taking a deep breath at the top of the hill. What is, where is red, 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 cries a firefighter. I see nothing red here. Goat, Fox, Rabbit, and Mrs. Raccoon join him. Why were we in such a rush, Turtle? Look, over there, whispers Turtle. The red, red, red is coming. <gasps> ah! They all sigh happily together. It's the... Sunset. Yes, it's the beautiful red sunset, says Turtle, and all of them turn to enjoy it. And all of them stay until the big yellow moon appears in the evening sky. <gasps> Perfect. Turtle takes the time to say. The end. So boys and girls, let's do another song about some leaves. Can you help me with my colors? What color is this? Red, yellow, orange, brown. Good. What about this one? Purple, and green. All of the leaves in the autumn can be these colors. Most of them are green and they're going to be turning all of these colors pretty soon. So make sure you go outside and look. Okay, so I have a song. 
about autumn leaves falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. Autumn leaves are falling down to the ground. Red and yellow, orange and brown, orange and brown, orange and brown. Red and yellow, orange and brown to the ground. So boys and girls, if you wanna take some leaves and cut them out of different colors, then you can do this song and you can drop them. That's fun too. And just drop them straight to the ground. And when you go outside, you can break up the leaves into a big, big pile and jump right in. That'll be really, really fun. If you've never tried it, you should give it a try. So thanks for singing that song with me. And I have one last thing for us today is a make it, take it activity. We're gonna make an autumn leaf. So let's get started. Okay, boys and girls, for the make it, take it activity today, you can pick your kid up at the library and you can make an autumn leaf. You'll have a piece of paper that's just like this one. I cut my leaf out. I followed the black lines with my scissors all the way around the leaf. So you can cut that out or you can cut it around like this if you want, all the way around like we did our handprints, or you can leave it just like that. But what you can do is you can put your glue stick on the leaf right here, and then you're gonna get all the colors that we've talked about today. What were they? Red, orange, yellow, brown, purple, and green. Leaves can be all of these colors. So we're going to cut these pieces of paper if you want. I'll let you decide. So you can cut the paper into little bitty pieces or you can tear the paper. You bend it like this, like twist, twist. So you put Pinch it and you pull forward and backwards, forwards and backwards, and it pulls the paper apart. So you can pull it apart and then you can glue it to your leaf. See, just put a little bit of glue and then stick your piece of red on there. Okay, and then if you wanna cut instead, you can cut big pieces, little pieces, cut them like that. However you think would look beautiful on your leaf. And then when you get them all cut apart or torn apart, you can just stick them on your leaf and decorate. If you want to make your leaf red because that's your favorite color, like mine, you can make your leaf all the same color you don't have to use all of these colors. You can choose just orange, or you can just choose two colors together. You can choose three colors together, or you can do all the colors on your leaf. So that's the Make It Take It project that I have for you to create today. I have a paper also for your parents, and I have the song sheet that we sing the song so you can help uh, remember the words. And I have the October schedule all ready for us. All of the things we have planned to do at story time during the month of October. Thanks for joining me today, boys and girls. I had a lot of fun reading those stories to you. I hope you enjoyed listening to them. I will see you again on Tuesday of next week. And I'll be here if you need to call me at the library. Um, you can stop by at any time and pick those packets up. Have a great weekend. Go find those leaves. Bye.